Due to the impact of COVID, customers are now in a save and spend mode. Nowadays, buying phones, renting a flat and lot of big ticket purchases have become very easy for Indians due to the buy now pay later offerings. Weddings have been now made an EMI option too. Paying for a wedding has also become flexible as of now. You have a marry now pay later that is MNPL option. Let's dive in. This is Krishna Hindu Nair. MNPL or marry now pay later schemes are popular in West and are gaining traction in Kerala. MNPL options have caught the eye of the recent generations who like to keep their weddings lavish but intimate. And most importantly, fund the whole affair themselves without taking any monetary help from their parents. If you have a wedding in the family, you can apply marry now pay later feature to pay expenses from list of merchants and pay for wedding venue, caterer, flower decorator, photography and videography, wedding essentials, wedding planner, wedding consultant etc. As more and more couples and families figure out what this scheme offers, the maximum funds a customer can avail of is rupees 25 lakhs and time period for repayment can be either 6 or 12 months or can be selected accordingly. Now, you can opt for wedding EMIs with marry now pay later options. MNPL provide credit like never before so that you need not worry about your wedding expenses. Pay later category enters wedding space which is estimated to be a 4 trillion dollar market in India. A previous media report had stated that one in every four weddings worldwide happens in India. And with Indians raising their spends on weddings, companies are very bullish on this market. According to reports of 2022, 2022 saw the largest number of pent-up wedding demand that ever happened in the industry. This comes after the COVID-induced pandemic hit a pause button for the festivities. It is said that the big fat Indian wedding is still there. But it's fat in different ways now. People are spending the same amount but in smaller, more experiential ways. Elevating that guest experience with more personalization and customization. Further, it was also understood that places like Jaipur, Udaipur and Goa aren't just seeing wedding demand from their own cities but also are feeder markets for other cities where people are looking to plan destination weddings. With this scheme, the would-be couples can stick to the plan of having a grand wedding without blowing their savings.